What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'm going to be showing you how to enable picture in picture in the YouTube application without any shortcuts or without needing to be watching YouTube in the Safari application. So as you guys might recall, last year Apple introduced picture in picture on the iPhone and the iPad with iOS 14, but the big catch was that it only worked inside of Safari. So basically you had to watch your YouTube videos in Safari if you wanted to take advantage of picture in picture. But after a while, YouTube just quietly disabled that feature and that's when we had to turn to shortcuts for a workaround. So I made a video showing how to enable picture in picture using one of those custom shortcuts last year and that method still works to this day and I'll actually show you how to do that later in this video as well but it's not an official method. It's just simply a workaround and sometimes it will just randomly stop working. But the method we're gonna be showing in this video is actually an official method that works 100% of the time and it works inside of the YouTube application. And the reason it works so well is because it's actually a built-in feature inside of YouTube now. So to go ahead and access this and get picture in picture working on your device, it's going to be very simple. So first thing, let's go into our settings and then you're gonna go down to general and then to picture in picture and you want to make sure that start picture in picture automatically is turned on and enabled and now let's go ahead into YouTube make sure your YouTube application is updated to the latest version so go into the App Store and just make sure there's no pending updates for YouTube once we're in here just go ahead and tap on your icon for your profile up in the top right then go to settings and then to general and you should see a picture in picture toggle right here where you can turn on or off picture in picture for the YouTube application. Now, if you're not seeing this option, it's because this feature is currently being beta tested for YouTube premium subscribers. So if you go into your settings right here and then go to try new features, you go ahead and tap on that, you will see that we have translate comments and then also picture in picture on iOS. So all you have to do is just simply tap on try it out right here and it will enable that feature for you. And what you'll notice here is that it says available until October 31st. So that is a potential day that picture in picture will roll out to all users in the US, whether you pay for YouTube premium or not. So it's not only going to be available for YouTube premium subscribers, it's going to be available if you do not pay for YouTube premium, but just not yet. So it's likely going to be on October 31st or sometime very soon, but you know, you're going to still be able to enable it the same way if you're watching this at a later date, by just going into settings general and picture in picture at, you know, at some point it's going to show up in there for everybody. But for right now, again, you need to go into the try new features and then down to picture in picture on iOS. And you do have to be a YouTube premium subscriber to try it out right now. Now, if you are outside of the United States, this will be available to all premium subscribers, but if you're not a premium subscriber and live outside of the United States, this feature will not be coming to you for a little while, a little while after it comes to the US. So again, if you wanna take advantage of the shortcut method, the little workaround method I was talking about, I'm going to show how to do that here in a moment. But I just wanna show how this works. So if you have picture in picture enabled here inside of YouTube, we're just gonna go back and watch one of these videos. So let's just say that we're watching this YouTube video right here. To enable picture in picture, it's very simple. You just simply swipe up to go back to the home screen and you can see the picture in picture shows up right there. So you can go into different applications, like if I wanted to go into Twitter, for example, I could have that video playing right there while I'm you know, browsing through Twitter. So you can also resize it. So if you pinch like that, or if you just simply double tap on the screen, you can resize the window. And you could also move it around to different sides of your screen. You could also push it off to the side of the screen. Now, one thing I noticed that I don't really like is that if you're in picture in picture and you lock your phone, you go back to the lock screen, it will actually pause the video. So you will not get audio when you go to the lock screen if you have picture in picture enabled. So if you wanna keep the audio, just make sure you tap on that little button I just tapped on right there to go back into YouTube, play it, and then lock, and then it will continue playing you know, in the background right there if you are a YouTube Premium subscriber. So the feature is working pretty well, and it does also work for live streams. So if you're wondering if you can watch a live stream in picture in picture, you can. And overall, it works pretty much exactly how you would expect it to work. I mean, really not too many issues. You also have a progress bar down there, as you can see, so you can see how far along in the video you are as well, which is nice. Of course, you can skip forward 15 seconds or go back 15 seconds if you would like to. Now, if you are not seeing picture in picture inside of the YouTube application in your settings, or if it just simply does not work for you, there is a workaround that will work for everybody. So to do this, all you need to do is go into the App Store and download this application right here called x.app. 
I will also have it linked down in the description below. And then I will also have a link to this shortcut down in the description below. It's not required, but you can install it. So to do this, to get picture in picture in the YouTube application, even if you don't see the setting is just go to the video you want to have in picture in picture. And just to confirm, I don't have that setting enabled. You can see here, I go to the home screen and it's not working. So if we go to share right here, we're gonna go over to more. And then on here, you should see these options right here. So it should say, X video picture in picture right there. All you want to do is simply tap on that and it will open up this little web browser page right here. And you will see it shows enter video URL. You could also do this by going into the x.app application on your home screen. But once you're right here, all you want to do is just simply tap on picture in picture right down here at the bottom. So once you tap on that, you will see that it puts the video in picture in picture. You could then go to your home screen and you can resize it just like you can inside of the YouTube application. You can put it off to the side. You can go into different applications and it works just like what I showed you earlier. So this method works for everybody. So whether you are a premium YouTube member or not, or whether you live in the United States or not, this is going to work for everybody every single time. So it's kind of good to have just as a backup as well, just in case YouTube decides to pull picture in picture from the application once again, although I don't see that happening. And like I mentioned, you could also go into the x.app application and you could just go ahead and paste a URL in right here. So if you go to enter video URL, just paste the YouTube link in right there. And that's also another very easy way to do that. Or you could just open the video URL from the clipboard if you already have it copied and it will open it up right there. And then also under the picture in picture tab, this will also show you if the extension does not show up in your extension picker, like when you tapped on share and more, if it didn't show up, you could change all those settings right in here. You also have the option for full screen and you have all your settings over here as well. So really nice application, definitely makes this a lot easier than going through shortcuts like we had to in the past. And if you have the shortcut downloaded, like I said, it's not required, but it is something you can do if you are into shortcuts. If you just copy the link of a video and just tap on the shortcut right there, it will open it up right away in here. And then you can just tap on picture in picture just like so. So the good thing about having the shortcuts though, is that you could actually set this like on your home screen if you wanted to. So like if you go to this right here, you can go to add to home screen, add, and then you can see it's on the home screen right here. So if we tap on it right here, you can see it just opens the video up right away. So it's kind of just a quicker way to access picture in picture if you want to via shortcuts. So anyways, guys, there you have it. That is how to enable picture in picture on the official YouTube application on iOS 14, 15, and any future iOS version. And if you guys have any questions at all, make sure to leave those in a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. But if you guys enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. And of course, make sure you subscribe for a lot more tutorials just like this one. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.